proud to be a geek. I have a long list of titles for myself. Um, queen of free downloads. I get about 400 emails a day and I try to read every one of them. I get a lot of marriage proposals um, in email, probably from like age 9 to maybe 17. The answer is always going to be no, first of all, because I'm already married, and second of all, because I don't know you. Number five is the Jedi robes. You know that the utility kilt that you've been wearing for like the last 25 years actually yeah. influenced the costume decision making. <laughs> Lucas, before Patrick started wearing this kilt, Lucas thought that, that Alec Guinness kind of looked a little girly. Right. But then we showed him the results of our uh, extensive kilt focus group and Lucas came around. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. He came. Number four is Kenny Baker reprising his role as R2-D2. Now back in August of 2000, Lucas considered replacing the much-loved Baker with a computer-generated R2-D2 ah. in episode two. Thanks to all those Screensavers viewers who expressed their outrage in our poll, should Lucas have killed Kenny, Lucas changed his mind. Look at that. So I bring you the top five Digitally altered pictures of Leo Laporte. Clown Leo, or Leo the Clown by Michael Stevens. Now this is kind of what Leo looks like after... Whoa! Yeah, it's pretty scary. After he makes those inappropriate comments, sort and then I just like stretch... Sort of an Ed Grimley-esque <laughs> joker. It's just disturbing. Yeah, it is. It's not that much of a tweak, but it's just... Yeah. It's just disturbing. enough. Just enough. Dapper Leo Clones by Frank Schmidt. And, uh... Oh, I would, yes. That. I would like to take this moment to dispel the myth that Leo wears a toupee because it's not true. Not that it would be a bad thing to wear a toupee, but he does not. That's his real hair, and I want everyone to know that. On the screensavers, we talk a lot about family, and I never felt that more than in the weeks following September 11th, when you let us into your living rooms, and with your stories and your emails, you let us into your family. Never was it more important to keep in touch with your loved ones and to be able to use technology to contact your family.